I think it's a fantastic thing. It's a fantastic opportunity. I don't recommend it for everybody. I don't... What I wanted to discuss is a little subject that I was thinking about earlier on, which is acceptance. How we accept things, how we perceive and we tell ourselves certain things just to make our lives that more palatable. I mean, we, we generally not so much lie to ourselves, but we kind of program ourselves to believe certain things and what's acceptable and what's not. I mean, we all obviously know what is it, what isn't acceptable. We obviously all know what's right and wrong. So we, we can judge things easy enough, but we can accept things so easy. My acceptance is this. I make a video, I put it out on YouTube. That's it, done, accepted. I've accepted its level of standard. I've accepted that I'm happy with what I've put on there. And, but there's always a little aspect of you afterwards going, I could have changed that, I wish I'd have done that differently, I could have done that, but you've done it, you put it out there, it's done. So you could still eat it, you could take it down, you could change it, you could put it back up. The fact that you've decided that that's it, and you'll put it up, and you'll move on. And that's how I think about my YouTube videos. I watch it, I cut things out, I add little things to it, I watch it, I cut things out, and and then once I'm happy, and that's it, I, it's done. I mean, same thing throughout your life. You know what you've got to do. You know that, for example, when, you, when you're when younger, you go to school. You have to go to school. It's law. If you're home taught or, you know, I don't know what your situation is. But you accept the fact that you still need education. As a kid, even though you don't like it, you don't really have an option when you get older and you're working. You get a job, you work, you get up on a Monday morning, hey, or you, in some cases you like it, but you work and you go to work because you accept it. You've accepted it, you need that money. You need to be able to pay your bills, feed your kids, whatever, or your drug addict, addict or <laughs> whatever floats you brought up. You accept that because it's an, a means to an end. And you live your life accepting things and saying, yeah, okay, I don't like it, but I accept the fact that this has to be a certain way. I accepted the fact that I was going to work until I was 70 or whatever it is and going to go and struggle day in day out, feel demotivated because I couldn't do what else about it. I couldn't afford to rock the boat, I couldn't afford to change things, so I still had to pay my bills. I accepted that's how life had to be. I had to do these things in order to make, you know, just a means to an end. I had to do it. And then doing what I did and quit my job without being another job there just because I wanted to go into something that would financially be better something that I'd enjoy doing and so if I didn't like the place I could leave, I could go elsewhere and I would more what I wanted to be and do and the minute I challenged that acceptance the minute I turned around and went no, I'm not accepting that that's not what I want my life to be I don't want to teach my children to accept I don't want to teach my children that's the way it is, and that's what you've got to learn, and that's what you've got to do. You do that until the day you die. No, there's, just, there's just no fucking reason behind that. There's no reason at all, and, and no one should have to do that. No one should just accept. People don't question enough, people don't challenge enough. I challenge, I challenge, why were I doing well in what I did, but not seeing any benefit about it? And, and I felt like that for about a good six months, that I was just going to look for another job. But that wasn't going to change anything. I wasn't going to make anything different. I mean, there's no I like more in life than going out and meeting new people and fresh outlook on things. And why stick to the same place? And if you start to swap and change your jobs all the time, people question it. You find it harder to get employed. Because let me tell you, if you're moving from one company to another company to another company, people will question that. I've been in a position where I've been employing people and, and interviewing people and, and I question, well, why has he only had a job here for six months and a job there for a year and a job there for two weeks, you know. You question those things because that shows that the person's not rested and you employ those with that person knowing that they can't rest 
or there's something else not right, you're not going to employ them. As a contractor, that changes and it's better that you've worked on contracts as a contractor in different places because it shows you versatility, it shows that you can adapt, shows that you can change. For me, I think it's a fantastic thing. It's a fantastic opportunity. I don't recommend it for everybody. I don't have a young family anymore, so it makes no difference to me. If I had a young family, if I had young kids, no. I couldn't I, I couldn't be away from my children as they were growing up because I don't want to miss out, you know, and I didn't want to miss out, so I never even thought about it before. But, but it's all about acceptance, and you shouldn't ever accept. You shouldn't ever bow down and, and give in and don't fight. And, because you should always fight, you should always question, you should you should be the person in that meeting, or that person on the shop floor, or that person wherever you are, that says, why? Not in a, in a disobedient way, but in a, but why are we doing it that way? Surely if we did it this way, it would work better. Challenge your acceptance, guys. Challenge it. Because you'll feel the benefit after. Trust me. Yeah. You don't, might not want to rock the boat, you might not be able to afford it, you might not be able to do this, you might not be able to do it. And all it is is just fear. And it's, it's fear that, that something won't work. It's a fear that it's a difference from the norm. Challenge it, guys. Whatever you do in life, challenge it.